So I believe we are in Ger and Krunatilika Lesson 11 further readings at the beginning. And our first reading is a reading from the Anguttara Nikaya Book of Threes from the section called the Deva Duttavaga, that is the messengers of the gods or the divine messengers. This is the Deva Dutta Sutta. And it's a dialogue between a person and King Yama, who is like the king of the underworld. Although he doesn't seem entirely evil. He seems to be somewhat of a compassionate, devilish being. <laughs> and I put in a few extra credit bits in square brackets, as you probably have seen in my reading, just to kind of give it a little more context than our book. So here we have Tame Nang Bikave Yamo Raja Evan Aha Ambo Purisa. So Tame Nang seems to be essentially the same as tongue. So King Yama said Aha thus to him or that one. Oh, monks. And then we have Umbo Purisa. So Purisa is a man. Umbo is an indeclinable term of address, something like dear man or good man, my good man. So notice that Umbo doesn't match in this short A vocative because I guess it's indeclinable in this form, Umbo. Natvang adasa manusesu. So, Tvang is the you. Did you not see? So, this is the, I believe in our book, it's called the root aorist from das. In, in the present indicative in Pali, we have pasati, but for this form of the aorist, the root is used which in Sanskrit, I believe, would be drish, and in Pali, das. I think there's a, sometimes we are presented with the hypothetical verb dasati, to see, but it, it doesn't appear like that in Pali in the present, but it comes back in other forms. So here with the A augment, did you not see manes, manusesu amongst people and then iting va purisang va. So these are accusative objects of the verb adasa, a woman or a man. Those are accusatives. And now we have more descriptive terms describing the woman and the man also in the accusative. Asitikang va navutikang va Vasasatikang va jatiya. So this is an adjective of 80 years or 90 years or vasasatikang, 100 vasas, which literally means reigns. We know that monastics like to, when they meet each other, ask how many reigns they have, meaning how many years as a monastic they have been. So the, I guess these rains occur annually, so it takes on also the meaning of a year. And then we have jatiya, from birth, ablative, but in, in English we would translate that as years old. So haven't you seen amongst people a woman or a man 80 or 90 or 100 years old? Then we have a bunch of sort of unfortunate descriptors for these old elderly people. And I have my paper here. Jinang, frail. Gopanasi Vankang, a kind of curious, a little hard to imagine perhaps word, which literally means bent like a roof bracket or a roof frame. So I guess sort of maybe at a 90 degree angle or at least a 45 degree angle. 
bogong, which also has the sense of bent or crooked. Then we have an interesting three-part word, dunda parayanang pavedamanang gachantang. So here we have the present participle accusatives, gachatang, going, pavedamanang. So this is also the mana, present participle, in the accusative from the verb pavedati, pavedati, perhaps, um, meaning shaking. And then we have danda parayanang, and this would be dependent on a stick or a cane. So the sense is here, the person is going along, wobbling while de being de holding on to their cane or stick. And also we have aturang, afflicted, and gata yobanang, with youth gone, or in other words, elderly, no longer young. And then we have kanda dantang, with teeth that are broken or cracked. Palita kesang, with gray hair. Vilu, vilunang, ba, bald. Kalita sirang, sirang is head. Kalita, it seems like the sense of this would be thinning hair. Valitang, wrinkled, and then this three-part one, tilaka hatta gatang, with a body marked by spots, right? Old age spots. So a whole bunch of things that happen as one gets older. Haven't you seen this? And he says, adasangvante. Yes, I've seen that. Yes, of course, we've all seen that. And then, so King Yama says the same thing. He continues, Tasate vinyu sa sato maha lakasa na etad hosi. So here we have a miniature or a small genitive absolute construction in the middle of this na etad hosi. So did this not occur? Na etad ahosi. Did this not occur to you? And then we have you being sato. In the this is ati, a present participle genitive. Vinu <coughs> vinu sa, um, <coughs> intelligent and mahalakasa. This is all genitive. Um, mature. So didn't it occur to you, being an, an intelligent and a an, uh, mature person, essentially, and now here's the thought bubble. Ahang <clears throat> piko mi jaradamo jarang anatito. I am, am he here, p also, Jara damo. So damo here as a suffix in a compound of the nature of, of old, of aging, or I am also going to age. Jarang anatito, not gone beyond old age, or not exempt from old age. Didn't this occur to you, this thought? Handa hung. So handa is a indeclinable word that has the sense of let me now, or, let us now. And so handa ahung, let me now. Kalyanam karomi, do good, do good things, or do wholesome things, perhaps, maybe good, do good things. Kayena vachaya manasa, by body by speech, and by mind. Didn't this occur to you to do this? And he answers, Na sakisang bante, pamada sang bante. So here, <clears throat> these were a little curious looking to me because they 
almost appear to be conditionals, but I believe they are in fact aorists. The first one would be the hours of Sakoti, to be able, with the A augment here. So N plus Asiki, Asaki, N plus Asaki, and I suppose this would be the first person singular suffix, personal ending. I wasn't able to, Bante. And here, Pamada sung, we recognize the word Pamada, and the word would be Pamajati. We have that mud that, in literal sense, has to be intoxicated, but we, it's really the sense of being heedless. I was heedless, Bante. Any questions so far on anything? I had a quick question for the tussa at the beginning of the unbracketed sentence, tussa yes. te vinyasa. How did you translate, how did you incorporate the tussa into your English? I just had, good man, did this not occur to you being intelligent and mature? And what is, where is the role of tassa in that? Well, maybe we can say the first tassa or the first word here, tassa. I would put it with the na etad ahosi. Did not occur to you. This not occur to you, tassa. Okay. And then maybe te vinusa sato mahala kasa, the genitive absolute, you being a or an intelligent and mature person i see okay thank you so this te might we might say would be the genitive but i i mean i didn't translate it that way because it seems like in english we don't need the you twice but maybe literally would be did this not occur to you you being a intelligent and mature person yeah. <clears throat> Anything else? Okay. Sorry, just one question. There. Yes. Please. The conversation is between Yama and who? Because I, I was thinking it was the Buddha, but then um, as, as, as you mentioned, it says, yeah, no, I, I was heedless. Well, obviously, the. Yes, it's not the Buddha. I'm not sure yeah. if the person has a name. We'd have to look that up. Okay, yeah. But it's, it's just a man, is, is what it is, yeah? Right. Yeah. Some unfortunate person not particularly wise okay or maybe he says he you are wise and mature but somehow not really having that kind of wisdom okay so now we continue the king yama once again asks him a question Natvang adasa manas manusesu ittingva purisangva abadikang. So this would be sick, dukki tang, suffering, balha gilanang, seriously ill. And then we have this sort of depressing group of four words. Sake muta karise palipanang. Semanang. So this would be present participle mana, semanang, accusative, based on either seti or sati, to lie. So lying, and then palipanang, um, fallen down in one's own. This is, now this is a locative, two locatives, muta karise in one's urine and excrement. And anyone who has had to unfortunately spend time in nursing homes knows this is not a very theoretical, sadly, uh, thing. It's very depressing. So haven't you seen somebody lying, having fallen down in their own urine and excrement? Or anyehi vuta piyamanang. So here, Vutahati or Vutati, this is 
a verb which incorporates the letter V as a sandhi. It also exists without the V. Utahati or utati. This would be the passive sense with the ia in the present participle. Right? So having to be lifted up, right? Because the, the active sense is to lift up the passive sense to be lifted up and being lifted up it would be the present participle being lifted up anyehi by others or anyehi sangvesia manang being having to be put into bed by others or having to be laid down by others verb I think here would be sangvesiati and he says yes I've seen that Bhante okay maybe would somebody like to continue with this one Tame Nang Bikave Fiakar would you like to continue for us Sure. Tame nang bhikkhave yamo raja eva maha. So, thus amongst the, the um, yamo, the king yamo said, ambo purisa tasa te vinusa sato mahalakasa na etadahosi. Aham pi ko mi viadi damo damo viadin anatito han daham kayanan karomi kayena vachaya manasati. Mm -hmm. so, then amongst the oh, I said that sorry. So you, when you were wise and mature and did you not say I too am of the nature of getting sick I have not gone beyond getting sick let yeah. me now do good things uh, with my body my voice and my mind yes. right so the just just notice that the genitive absolute construction has that kind of simultaneous uh, sense. So didn't it occur to you being a intelligent and mature person, hmm. right? Since, you know, this is happening while at this, while you were yeah. at the moment, didn't this occur to you, right? And exactly as you've translated, and then can you translate this extra bit in brackets? Okay. So, eva maha nasakisang pante pamadasang pante ti. So, um, and he would say, no, I was not able, pante. I was heedless, pante. Yes. Okay. And then we have this one. Another, we, there was, of course, a skip in the sutta. This is, um, haven't you seen amongst people, not fang adasa manu sesu, a woman or a man? And now we have eka hang, eka ha matang va. So here, the word for day is aha. Or ahas, and it's joined with the word for number one, eka. So this is they join together. We have this long a, and then the mata, past participle I believe of marati, so dead. So haven't you seen a a person, a woman or a, a man, one day dead, literally, or dead for one day? dead for two or dead for two days 
dvihamatang, or tihamatang, or dead for three days, or udu matakang. This, I believe, is translated as swollen up or bloated as the body begins to decompose. Vinila kung. So the word nila has the literal sense of blue, the color blue, or maybe black. Uh, I think this is usually called livid in English when the body starts to turn colors. And here, vipuba ka jatung, translated as festering. In fact, actually, at least for most people I know, including myself, we haven't seen this because in our modern world, we we kind of don't experience this personally. I guess in the old days, it was more visible, more possible to see this. And then maybe we'll finish this last one. Diane, would you like to do the last bit? Okay. Tame nam bikave yamo raja evam aha ambo pudisa. That uh, for this one, uh, O monks, King Yamo said thus, um, Hey man, Tasat, I thought he was cool. Hey man, I like that. Hey man, Tasate Vinusa Sato. Mahalakasa na eta de Jose. This is a, the genitive absolute here uh, for you. And then go to Sato, it's being, Vinusa uh, wise, and Mahalakasa mature. Na uh, eta de Jose, did it not occur te to you? Aham piko am. Aham pikomi, umhi, maranadamo, maranadamo, maranam anatito, handaham kalyanam, karomi kayena wachaya manasati. I too am subject to death or of, of the nature to, to die. No death and not free, anatito, not free of death, maranang. Handaham, well then, kalyanam karomi, let me be good, kayena, by body, wachaya, by speech, manasa, by mind. So, eva maha nasakisambante, Pamadasam Banteti. Um, thus was said, I was not able, sir. I was heedless, sir. Thank you. Great. So I think if there's any questions you can ask, these are very important reflections. They're used in the Reflection Upon Death, one of the four protective meditations. Okay. Then we could go on to something perhaps a little less sad. And so for number two, we have uh, a very famous passage that appears in various forms. This one is one of them. And the question asked is, Katama cha bikave samaditi? And what, O oh monks, is right view? And notice here that we have this long A on Katama, because Samaditi is a feminine noun. And so we match the interrogative pronoun in the feminine. Yang ko bikve duke nyanang. That which is the knowledge, jnanang, and then we have locative in regard to dukkha. So this is again our, introduced in this chapter, this new kind of locative, 
and it says used in the sense with in reference to it with relation to or concerning so the knowledge in regard to dukkha right and notice here that nyanang is um neuter and so we have young here as the neuter relative pronoun that the knowledge in regard to dukkha the knowledge in regard to dukkha samudaye locative into the it to in regard to the origin of dukkha the knowledge in regard to the cessation of dukkha dukkha nirode and then we have this very interesting compound dukkha niroda gamaniya patipadaya nyanang the knowledge in regard to the path leading from the cessation of dukkha and so patipadaya patipada is a feminine noun the path it is here in the locative and then here, this long, complicated compound, I put a hyphen here to help us break it up, but it could be without. Dukkha Niroda Gamaniya. And I just happened to notice that in Venerable Bodhi's new Pali reader, he talks about this compound. In his uh, reading, it's slightly different. I put it here just so we can see it. Um... Ayang Dukkha Niroda Gamani Patipada Yogo Karaniyo. So here we can see that it is in the feminine nominative. I think how does he he gives us a literal translation of this? Um, this suffering cessation going away exertion should be made. So Karaniyo should be made yogo exertion and ayang dukkha niroda gamani patipada this suffering cessation going way or he translates it in a more natural sense this is the way leading to the cessation of suffering and he glosses this complicated compound he says i'll just read you this is a complex accusative tapurisa compound in the nominative case qualifying patipada. It is made up of dukkha niroda, a genitive tapurisa. So here, dukkha niroda, a tapurisa compound. So these words exist in relation to each other in a genitive case relationship. Cessation of dukkha so the of was the genitive and the suffix gamani which is the feminine singular of gaming going to leading to which takes dukkha niroda as its object in an accusative relationship so it's a interesting compound sort of a two-part two levels of compound sarah um, yes, I've always had curiosity about this, and you would see it in different uh, declensions, right? Like yes, like Nico we just Bodhi did. is showing it in nominative, and, and the gamini and patipada are matching, right, in the nominative. Yes, But then feminine. when we see it in the dative, we see it gamaniya and patipad, patipadaya, right? Yeah, and or in our reading, it was locative, I think. Or locative, locative. Yeah, yeah, in regard feminine. to feminine yeah. locative, right. And then can we see it in the accusative? I'm, well, I'm not sure. Okay. We would have to look. All right, because I made some notes that it would be gaminin and patipadang. But I, I've never seen it in, in the wild, as you say. But, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe try a, a, a search on that Six Council website and see if it comes up as a... Okay as an instance, as a hit. So here again, we have Dukkha Niroda as a genitive tapurisa, the cessation of Dukkha. But then we have, we have Gamani taking 
Dukkha Niroda as its object in an accusative kind of relationship, right? Okay. I thought that was interesting to add. It's a very great book. Okay. And now this kind of continues number two, I believe, but I think from a different sutta, Samaditi Sutta. So, Yatoko Abuso Aryasavako Akusalanja Pajanati. So, Yato is when, friend, Abuso, the Aryasavaka, nominative subject, the noble disciple, Pajanati, she or he understands the unwholesome. And notice here that there's a list of a uh, series of things. So we have the cha coming here as well, and the accusative ending, which would be a kusalang, the object of pajanati, moves to this palatal nasal because it there is a sandhi with the cha, a kusalanja. So when, indeed, friend, the noble disciple understands the unwholesome, and akusala mulanja pajanati understands the root of the unwholesome. This seems to me maybe another genitive tapurisa, the root of the unwholesome, and understands kusalanja pajanati understands the wholesome, and Kusala Mulanja Pajanati understands the root of the wholesome. Etavata Piko Avaso, in this way, friend, Arya Savako Samaditi Hoti, the noble disciple is a right one, of, we would translate one of right view, but this is Samaditi which would literally be a right viewer, right? This, the, so the noble disciple is one of right view, or literally the noble disciple is a right viewer, one possessed of right view. And Samanagato, um, endowed with having, and Samanagato takes the locative, Dame Avecha Pasadena, unshakable confidence in the Dhamma. Yeah. And then Agato has gone to this good or true Dhamma. Katamang Panabuso Akusalang, Katamang Akusalamulang, Katamang Kusalang, Katamang Kusalamulang. So what, f indeed, friend, is the unwholesome? What is the root of the unwholesome? What is the wholesome? And what is the root of the wholesome? Um, Sarah, would you like to give us your translation of some of these? Sure. Let's see. You, start, you were at Katamang? Or... Panatipato. Oh, Panatipato. Um, so just you want the English then? Well, you can read okay. some. Okay. Panatipato ko abuso. Akusalang. Adina danang akusalang. Kameso michicharo akusalang. Musavaro akusalang. Pisuna vacha akusalang. Karusa vacha akusalang. Sampa palapo akusalang. Okay. Let's, let's stop there just yeah. to get okay. it in English. All right, so we've got uh, Indeed Friend. Um, the killing of living beings is unwholesome. So it's Pana being with Atipato, yes. killing. Um, taking what is not given is unwholesome. Adina Adana, coming from Adiati, I think, or Deiti. Yeah. And Adana. And then uh, 
Kameso Michicharo, um, we've got the locative plural of Kama, sensual desire. Michicharo is wrong action. So that's usually translated as um, sexual misconduct is okay. unwholesome. So these would be the three bodily courses of unwholesome contact, uh, conduct, yes? Mm -hmm. And then we've got a bunch of speech coming up. We've got Musa Vada. Musa is false and Vada is speech. I think sometimes people say creed or theories, but we'll say speech um, is unwholesome. Pusana Vacha, um, that's like malicious or slanderous speech mm -hmm. is unwholesome. Parusavacha, that's harsh. Speech is unwholesome. Sampa palapo, which I think is Diane's favorite word. Sampa is like frivolous and palapa is nonsense. So kind of prattling and idle chatter. Yeah. The translation I usually hear is Even unwholesome. gossip. Gossip. <laughs> yes, so these are the four modes of unwholesome sp speaking actions. And then we have three more. We've got Abhija Akusalam, Biapado Akusalam, Michaditi Akusalam. So uh, covetousness, Abhija, it is unwholesome. Ill will, Biapado is unwholesome. And Michaditi, wrong view, is unwholesome. Right. Or Biapado. Biapado. Yes. Okay. Can you do the two more sentences? Idam vuchatavuso akusalam ime dasa dama akusala sam samapatati namenapi nyatava. So this friend is called uh, vuchati, um, the unwholesome akusalam. These ten things ime dasa dama should be known nyat nyataba. That's Good future passive participle of janati. Um, and I think it's agreeing with dhamma, nyataba. So these 10 things should be known by the name namena um, akusala kamapata. And that is the unwholesome ways of action. Good, good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Catherine, would you like to continue for us, please? Okay. Kataman Chow. And what friend is the root of the unwholesome? Lobo Akusal, Lobo Akusalamulang. Greed is the root of unwholesome. Doso Akusalamulang. Hatred is the root of unwholesome. Moho akusala mulang. Delusion is the root of unwholesome. Idang bucha, idang bucha tawuso akusala mulang. This old friend is called the root of the unwholesome. Kataman chabuso kusalang. And what old friend is the wholesome? Panati Pata Beramani Kusalang. Abstinence from the killing of living beings is wholesome. Adina Dana Beramani Kusalang. Abstinence from taking what is not given is wholesome. Kamesu Michachara Beramani is wholesome. Musa Bada Beramani Kusalang. Abstinence from false speech is wholesome. Pisunaya Vachaya Beramani Kusalang. Abstinence from malicious speech is wholesome. Parusaya Vachaya Beramani Kusalang. Abstinence from harsh speech is wholesome. Sampa Palapa Beramani Kusalang. Abstinence from idle chatter is wholesome. Ana bija kusalang. Non covetousness is the wholesome. Abia pado kusalang. 
non-ill will is the wholesome. Sama diti kusalang, right view is the wholesome. Idang wuchata wuso kusalang, this old friend is called the wholesome. Ime dasa dama kusala kama patati namena pi nataba. These 10 things should be known and named wholesome ways of actions. Good. Thank you. I missed it. Somehow you dropped out. How did you translate this one? Kamesu Michachara. Kamesu. Hang on. Kamesu Michachara. Kamesu. Uh, kama. That means uh, sexual pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Liter it's sensual pleasure, but always refer to sexual pleasure. Michachara, misconduct. Yes. So literally, oh. it's misconduct in regard to, That's, this is that type of locative, sensual pleasure, pleasure. right? As yeah. often translated as sexual, but mm. it seems to me that we could expand that out if we wanted to. <laughs> it depends how abstemious we are. Okay. Okay. And maybe do the last four short bits, please. Katamancha wuso kusalama mulang. And what friend is the root of the wholesome? Alobo kusalamulang. Non greed is the root of the uh, wholesome. Adoso kusal is the root of the wholesome. Amoho kusalamulang. Non delusion is the root of the wholesome. Idam buchata buso kusalamulang. This old friend is called the root of the wholesome. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Any questions about this? I think we probably all are familiar with this in our local languages. It's good to see it in Pali too. Okay. Wow. We're becoming such whizzes. We're just kind of passing through this stuff with no obstacles. It's wonderful. Okay. Then we could go on. So these, this reading is from uh, a very interesting short set of suttas in the Sangyuta Nikaya, Matugama Sangyuta, about women. And I think maybe it should be understood as women as a collective group, the female sex. Um, and then so we have a two, I think two or three readings from this Sangyuta. And so I can start here. Panchahi bikave angehi samanagato matu gamo ekanta manapo hoti purisasa. So, monks endowed with samanagato, samanagato, which takes the instrumental, five factors or five things. Matugamo, a woman. I have to say here, I wasn't quite certain whether we should take this nominative singular as a woman, one woman, or perhaps it should be taken as sort of a collective singular noun for women. Um, I think that Pikabodi takes it as a singular woman, woman, woman one woman. But I wonder maybe if it could be also be taken as women. And we'll see that even more, perhaps more relevantly in the next, um, in the next sutta. So here, ekanta manapo is, um, so ekanta plus a manapo. So manapo is pleasant or agreeable and Amanapo with the short A negator is un disagreeable or unpleasant, and it's joined with this word ekanta, so the A is A's are joined together, making a long A here, and the ekanta has, I think it has the literal sense of eka plus anta, so all the way to one side, all the way to one extreme, or it means extremely or very much 
but literally it has a sense of one-sided. So here it has the sense of a woman is, and then the, this is the adjective, a kanta manapo, extremely disagreeable to a man. Yep. Purisasa. Katamehi panchahi. What are the five? And so, nacha rupa vahuti, nacha boga vahuti, nacha sila vahuti, alaso chahuti, pajanchasa na labati. So, she is not rupava. So this would be the nominative of rupa vand, and the sense is beautiful, physically attractive. N and this is cha, right? And she is not bogava. So boga is material wealth. Boga vant, one possessing material wealth, or she is not wealthy. And cha, n cha silavahoti. She is not silavant. Silava. She is not virtuous. She does not possess sila. And then we have the word alaso, alaso chahoti, which is idle or lethargic. And then here, a curious um, construction, which I struggled a little bit about to fully grasp, even though I think the sense of it is clear, which is pan pajanchasa na labati, which is she does not produce children. And here labati to possess, to have, to gain. And I broke up pajanchasa as pajang cha asa. So paja, I have it down here can have two senses. This is from the Dictionary of Pali, the newer dictionary. One is, which is in our sentence, progeny, offspring, or child. But paja could also mean, as we've had it in the pre last week, I think, in a reading, it just means beings or people, or as Bhikkhu Bodhi translates it often into the population, right? When the Buddha says, I don't see anybody in this population with its that could do this kind of thing. That's the second definition of paja, a feminine noun. But here, it means a child. And it's in the accusative singular, um, plus this ayang in the dative genitive. So I couldn't really exactly figure out how this would be literally rendered in English, but I think we understand that she does not have children. If anyone can give me a literal translation of this phrase, I would appreciate it. Um, good morning. May I? Yes, please. Uh, uh, um, I rewriting maybe but uh, uh, monks when a woman possesses five factors she is extremely disag uh, disagreeable to a man yes what five it's a question that no yes she is not beautiful not wealthy not virtuous she is lethargic and she does not beget children. When a woman possesses the five factors, she is extremely dis disagreeable to a man. Right, exactly. Yeah, so you took this phrase, pajan chasa nalabati, I think the way we're taking it. Yeah. So the ayang, which is the asa in the genitive dative, would be, I think, her, for her. She does not get for her offspring, something like that, or she doesn't have children. Good, thank you. Okay, 
And um, Hui Lin, would you like to take the next one? Well, I, I'll i try because I haven't reached here, but I'll try. <laughs> okay. Well, it's very similar to the, what we just did. Yeah. Okay. Um, Panchahi Bikawe Angehi Samanagato Matugamo Ikan Tamanapo Hoti Purisasa. Good. So notice um, here that in this adjective, mm. ekanta manapo, there's mm. the short A. So it's just ekanta manapo. Manapo. So it's the positive one. Ekanta manapo. Okay. So <clears throat> amongst a, a woman, samanakato, endowed with panchahi, with five factors, is completely agreeable. To a man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, katamahi panchahi. With what? With what five? Um, rupawa chahoti, bogawa chahoti, silawa chahoti, dakocha hoti analaso, panjachasa labati, imehiko bikawe, panchahi angehi samanakato. Matugamo ekatamanapo hoti purisasa. So, oh, okay, she is now beautiful. <laughs> she is, uh, she is, she is, uh, bogava, well, wealthy. She is virtuous, silava. Mm -hmm. uh, Dako cha hoti analaso. Um, I need so, some help. <laughs> so Dako is is clever, I think. Clever. Oh, so she's clever, and Analaso should be the opposite of Alaso. So she is uh, not idle. So she's hardworking, industrious. Sure. Very good. <laughs> good guess. <laughs> Very good. And and she is opposite to not being able to have a child means she is fertile yeah she's able to have children <laughs> right okay um a, a woman and endowed with some uh, yeah endowed with these five factors monks is completely agreeable to a man thank you very nice oh thank you Good. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> you did very well. Thank you. Okay. And then, of course, we have the same for men. So we shouldn't feel that this is so one sided. <laughs> um, Fiat Kara, would you mind doing this next one? Which okay. is very much the same. Great. Thank you. Panchahi Pikave Angehi Samanagato Puriso Ekaman Napo Hoti. Ma tu gamasa katamehi panchahi rupava jahoti. Oh, well, I'll stop for a minute. I'll, I'll do that. Sure, let's do that first. Yeah. Okay, so possessed of these five things, our monks, a man is extremely um, undesirable. Not, a, not undesirable. Uh, so, ekaman, ekantaman apo, okay, extremely, um, ekantaman apo, okay, so that's, oh, extreme, oh, yeah, because it's a short A. It's that's a right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I try to pronounce the long A's, the short A's, the M, but I just have a habit of not doing it, and then I, I miss it this trick, yes. So extremely desirable um, to the woman. So now, now the passage makes more sense. <laughs> yes. I, maybe we've skipped this small section because we didn't have the negative. Now we only have the positive. Yes. So yes. That's why, yes, exactly. As you said, this is why the A is short because it's simply these yeah. two words joined together. There's no yeah. A negator. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so which five am um, or by mm. which five, right? Because oh, it's sorry, instrumental. Yes, by which five? Yeah, okay, okay, by which five? Katamehi, Panchahi. Okay, so Rupava, so am, 
possessed of rupa vacha who's hauti so he's possessed of good form i guess bhoga vacha hauti he's possessed of wealth sila vacha hauti possessed of virtue dako chahuti um he's intelligent it's it's further down the list <laughs> um analaso um diligent panchasa labhati so begets children for himself imehiko bikave panchahi angehi samanagato puriso Ekantamanapo hoti matu gamasa ti. So, um, so, so then by, by possessed of these five attributes, the man is desirable to the woman. Yes. Right. Okay. I think that's pretty clear. Any questions on this sutta? Sarah? A quick little question for the pancha, pancha, pad, can't even say it. The one uh, where is asa, I lost it. Pajan chasa labati? Pajan chasa, yeah. That, could it be asa is in the optative of ati? Like able, able to get or not able to get? Oh, I didn't think of I, that. I don't know. I wasn't sure because when it switches from him to her, um, it sounds in the, when they're talking about the woman, it's the physical process of her producing a child. Well, how would you translate that literally? Because lovity is to get, right? Well, I, I, I kind of fudged a bit, but I, in that case, I wrote, he is able to have offspring. That's maybe, maybe, you know, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm just not sure about that, as I said. Yeah. Diane? But you're muted, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, now. Could, it, could the Pajan Chasa be and not get or and get offspring? Could the Asa be for him or for her? That's what I or thought it was. Husband? That's what I thought. Yeah, I have it here as the genitive dative of ayang, which yeah. often function as a as a personal pronoun. Yeah. So literally, it would be something like offspring for her does not obtain. Right. In other words, she doesn't have children. That's how I thought it was. Yeah. Or okay. the positive would be a child for her she obtains. I think actually Fiakra translated it pretty well. How did you do that, Fiakra, for this? I said begets for himself children. Was yeah, I think for himself. I think that's I think that's how it is. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Thank you. Begets for himself. So begets would be that kind of biblical sounding lavati for himself asa paja children good okay okay now may i ask yes you something please do you know why buddha right did or, 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 or well or said this kind of twins suttas one sutta Oh, using no beautiful, no wealthy, no virtuous, and, and, and in, in the second, wealthy, beautiful. It's a, it's a, a, a common way to, to explain things, or it's a Buddha style. You mean, is, is this idea unique to the Buddha, or does, do many people believe this to be the case? I would say that this certainly seems to be a typical understanding amongst most people of why people are found to be desirable. It's not really unique 
to the Buddha. And I also don't think that he's necessarily saying, you know, he's not necessarily endorsing this idea, but he's, it seems to be more of a statement of fact that this is just the way people work. This is just the way people are. As to why he does this, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, but, because we, we, well, we are Occident, Ox, or, uh, wait, we are from the West and we explain only in a way and we don't explain in both ways. That's the, the reason for me. It's, um, I don't know. I was going to add in the style. I think she's okay. saying that you first do the positive and then you do the, or first you do the negative and then you do the positive. See. It's more yes. of a kind of a formalized way of arguing a point, I think, to some extent. Yeah. Or presenting a point thoroughly. It's yeah. I see. Well, it certainly can be sort of characteristic of Indian thought or Indian way of ancient Indian way of presenting an argument, not unique to the Buddha himself. More, but I don't really know, to be honest with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now we have a sutta which I was sort of almost inclined to skip over as a man. <laughs> but I was uh, exhorted or encouraged by Diane to not skip over the sutta because she finds it wonderful. And so what do I know? So there is a, just another instance of my ignorance um, about the way things are or should be. And so this is another sutta from the same small collection of suttas um, in the Sangyutta Nikaya. And this is the 37th Sangyutta. And so it's based on this word, Ave Nikani, right? Um, or Ave -ni Nika, really, which I noticed that um, Bhikkhu Bodhi, in his translation of the Sangyutta Nikaya, translates this word as peculiar. But it seems to me that maybe a nicer translation would be unique or specific to, because peculiar in Eastern in American English sounds a little peculiar. Uh, I know what he means. If we know what he means. It means specific to, suffering specific to women. Men do not have this type of suffering, right? It's also an interesting question that I can't answer. <clears throat> Why is this in the Pali Canon? Why are we talking about this? But um, it's a type of dukkha. And it's uh, something that the Buddha talked about in the canon. And so here we are. So I'll start it off. Panchimani bhikkave matu gamasa ave nikani dukani yani matu gamo pachanu boti antra anyatraiva purisehi. So monks, there are these five specific sufferings of women, right? That which women experience, pach anuboti, exclusive of men, right? So, an anyatreva purisehi. Here I says, I said exclusive of men, but I think here, it, maybe it would be um, ablative plural from men, but it seems like in English we have to use more of a genitive sounding word, exclusive of men. Katamani pancha, what are the five? So, Diane, would you like to start off for us? What what is the first one? Idha bhikave matu gamo daharawa samano patikulam gachati nyatakehi vinahoti. So uh, here, monks, a woman, and then I would go to samano being daharawa. Um, 
being young, even when young, even when being young, yes, gachati goes patikulam um, to her husband's family or clan. Yeah, kula, right. Kula, nyata kehi vina hoti, and is vina is without and nata kehi her relatives. Yes. Being without relatives. How, so, what uh, case is Nyata Kehi probably? Um, what did I put down? Let me look. Nyata Kehi. Oh, well, wonderful. I didn't put anything. So I'm assuming it's um, instrumental. Or what else could it be? Ablative. From her relatives. From her relatives, yes. Yes, so if she is separated from, from her, her relatives. relatives. So, idam bikave matuka masa patamang aveni kam dukang yam matukamo pachunuboti anyatreba purasehi. So, that is, um, here monks is the first unique suffering which a woman experiences experiences is the chanuboti treva i liked apart from men puri say he i like that maybe it's better than exclusive of apart from apart from men good okay would you like to do one more sure uh una chaparam bikave matugamo Utuni hoti. Um, furthermore, or again, further monks, a woman got a matugamo. Utuni hoti. Utuni is a menstruating woman. Yeah. yeah. It's I guess it's adjectival. Yeah. It's interesting that utu has the sense of a time period in a literal sense. So it's like she has her period, just as we say in English. Right. And can I just say, I love this sutta because it shows that the Buddha recognized the suffering of women biologically, sociologically. Yes. Idam bhikave matugamasa dutiyam avenikam dukam yamatugamo patunuboti anya treva purisehi. So here, O oh monks, is the uh, second special suffering of a woman that a woman experiences apart from men. Good. So here it's also what I was bringing up earlier, this matugamo, which of course is a nominative singular, a woman. But I also wonder if it could be translated as women, like all women as a collective noun. I'm just not sure. But as I said, Bhikkhu Bodhi does translate it as, as Diane did, as a woman, one woman, of course, representative of all women. Anyway, uh, Sarah, would you continue for us? Okay, and I think in terms of woman, a woman, I think she's representing because the verbs are singular. Right. Right, so it would be plural. I mean, it, it is the sense of all women. Yeah. Okay, so punacharam bikave matukamo gabini hoti. Idam bikave matukamasa tatiyang avenikang dukang. Yang matukamo pachanu boti anyatreva purisehi. So, furthermore, O monks, a woman it becomes pregnant. So basically she, she is a pregnant woman because it's, I think, it's a nominative singular. Yes. Gabini. So a woman becomes pregnant. This so monks is the third, and I used inherent, the third inherent suffering, tatiyam avankandukang, for a woman. Uh, which a woman experiences, uh, and I like Diane's, what did you say, Diane, again? 
apart from apart from men i wrote exclusive of men but i like apart from men yeah so, and if you break down mut mutu gama isn't it like mother of the village or something like that or i'm not sure because that also kind of makes me feel that it's more gen women in general so, yes, it definitely has yeah. the sense, and the dictionary gives us that kind of idea of the female sex, women collectively. It's not yeah. just any woman, all women. Yeah. How about how about a couple more? Okay, punacharang bikave matugamo vijayati idam bikave matugamasa chatutang avan avenitang dugang yang matugamo Furthermore, O oh monks, a woman gives birth. So yeah, he breaks it down, right, Diane? It's, <laughs> it's all suffering. It's all, yeah. I mean, I I like the suffering being acknowledged. So, uh, so a woman gives birth. This O oh monks is the fourth chatutang inherent suffering for women that a woman experiences separate from men and should i do one more sure how about the fifth fifth punacharam bikave matugamo purisasa paricharyang upeti idam ko bikave matugamasa panchamang avenitang dukang yang matugamo pachanu poti anyatreva purisehi and furthermore, O oh monks, a woman basically has to wait on men. So yes, upeti is like approach or obtain, but right, and it takes the accusative. Takes the accusative, which is the parichariyang, a feminine accusative, which is attending or waiting upon. Yes, purisasa. So this that is a little bit, it's a little bit idiomatic, right? But I, th I think we understand what this means. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he, this is the fifth inherent suffering for a woman, which a woman experiences separate from men, from a man. Yes. No, men, it's plural. Yes. Except, uh, ex separate from men. Yes. Apart and then the men. last, yeah. apart from men. And then the last sentence, which I have a typo, I apologize for. I've, I'm afraid I think it's incorrect in the John Kelly uh, file, which I just copied heedlessly. <laughs> but it is it really should read exactly like the others. So can you just quickly, Sarah, give us this last mm -hmm. sentence? Iman hiko bikve pancha matugamasa avenikani dukani yani matugamo pacha nuboti anyetreva Purisehi, and I had copied it from the Kelly, but my copied correctly for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> wow. A mystery. That's because you're a woman. Yes, because of all my suffering. That's my one perk. Okay. So indeed, these, we've got plural now, these are the five inherent sufferings. So we've got Avenikani Dukani of a woman, which a woman experiences apart from men. Yes, thank you. And thank you for encouraging me to appreciate this sutta and not feel afraid of it. Any questions about it? I just want to say I agree with Diane. I think it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad it's not considered mansplaining. Okay, then we can go on. We have a little more time for this last little bit, which I found I found challenging the verse to translate. And in fact, I don't know if you've looked in Venerable Bodhi's copious footnotes, he talks about various readings. This is definitely not an easy verse to render. There are different possibilities, but we'll try our best. And so here, this is from a section, which is the first of the five large divisions of the Sangyutta Nikaya, the division which is which are called the the one with verses, 
And the third one is all about King Pisanidae of Kosala. So those of you who were, we were together for a sutta in the city, we covered this sutta. Um, and it's another kind of interesting commentary on gender relationships. So, Atako Raja Pasena di Kosolo, Yena Bhagava, Tain Upa Sankami, Uka Sankami Dva, Bhagavantang Abhivadetva, Ikamantang Nisidi. So then, King Pasenadi of Kosala, notice how his name and location is compounded into one part of his one word, name, King Pasenadi of Kosala, Raja Pasenadi Kosalo. Approached the Blessed One, having approached, he paid respects, Abhivadetva, and sat down to one side. This is all very normal for us. And now, Atako Anyaktaro Puriso Yena Raja Pasene di Kosolo Tain Upasankami Upasankami Tva Ranyo Pasene di Kosalasa Upakanyake Arochesi. So then, a certain man, or a man, some unnamed person, approached King Pasene di. And having approached, he informed in secret uh, to Pasenity. So he told him this secret. So notice that this is in secret, in the locative. And this would be uh, dative, I guess. Pasenity kosa lasa. And what does he say? Malika deva. Devi Ditarang Vijata. So we should know that the queen or the wife of King Pisanadi, her name is Malika. And Deva here is a vocative of of respect, like one that you would one that one would give to a king, perhaps, like Lord, Sire, Master. Something very lofty, like almost like a god. But this is an address to the king. So Malika, Queen Malika, so Devi is queen. So Queen Malika, sire, gave birth to a daughter. Ditarang, to a daughter. Evang Vute, thus, this, thus being said, Raja Pasena di Kosolo Anya An Atamano Ahosi. An Atamano Ahosi. Thus being said, King Pasenity was not happy. I guess because it was a, a girl and not a boy. But the Buddha, being a wise person, has some wise words for him and us to reflect upon. Atako Bhagava Rajanang Pasenidi Kosalang An Atamana An Atamanatang Viditva Tayang Vilainang Ima Gatayo Abasi. So then the Blessed One, having understood Viditva, King Pasenidi of Kosala was not happy. This is all our accusative. Tayang Vilayang, on that occasion, right, spoke these verses, Abasi Ima Gatayo. So here are the verses. I'm afraid I don't really understand the meter. Iti pihi e kachia saya posa jana dipa. It actually sounds like sloka meter. Medavini silavati sasudeva pati bata. So here, a woman may be better than a man, O Lord 
of men. So here, Jana Deepa is a, we have two of these sort of vocative addresses, Jana Deepa and Disang Pati, both I think unusual. So Jana Deepa has the sense of Lord of men. So, so Seya has this, is, is in the feminine, is better and then Posa. Well, Poso is a man. I think it's a short form of Puriso. And I, here I take it as a, as an ablative, which is sort of like the ablative of comparison, I think. And what is a kachia? I don't really, I'm not sure. Diane, what did you have for that? Some. Even some. some women, yeah. I see. Even some women. Okay. Some women may be better than a man, O Lord of the people. And now she, this woman is described as Meda Vini and Sila Vati. So we understand those as wise and virtuous, right? In that feminine vant uh, form. And then this interesting word, Sasu Deva. Well, Sasu is um, a mother-in-law. Deva is, of course, like a god. So it seems like it literally has the sense of treating her mother-in-law like a god, but maybe we can translate it as revering her mother-in-law. But I guess this was the kind of behavior that was considered very good, that you treated your mother-in-law almost as if like a god. Uh, pati bata, a devoted wife. And then Tasa Yojayati Poso Surohoti Disang Pati Tadisa Subariya Puto Rajampi Anusa Sati. So here I translated to her the son or the man that was born that is born, jayati. So here, tasa would be the feminine, referring to the iti, right? So that, and yo is going with poso, that son, which is born, right? Suro hoti is a hero, or maybe could, we can maybe take it slightly conditional, maybe a hero, and this is another one of those lofty, vocative, Lord of the land. Literally, it seems like it means Lord of all the, the directions, right? Because Adisa is a direction and Pati has that literal sense of Lord. We see that in Gahapati, right? Lord of the house, but we take that to mean householder. Then finally here, Tadisa Subariya Puto. So this is a very tricky one. So here I've translated it, the son of such an extraordinary wife. So here, the son, Puto, and then here, Subariya is an extraordinary wife, Subariya. I took that as a genitive. And now here the question is Tadisa. And I noticed that Venerable Bodhi tells us in one of his footnotes that this is considered, I believe in the commentary to be a truncated genitive. In other words, it's also a genitive, but it's been shortened for metrical reasons. So of such Tadisa. So it should be read as genitive, but there seems to be differing opinions about this, <laughs> what this might mean, but that's how I took it. The son of such an extraordinary wife, 
Rajampi Anusasati might also rule Anusasati the kingdom. So that was my version. Is anyone does anyone else like to share theirs if they have something different or perhaps better? Maybe also I will read you Venerable Bodhi's translation of this just for the record. Um, do I have it right here? Well, maybe maybe we'll hear from someone else first. Does anyone else have something to add? Then I'll read Venerable Bodhi's translation. A woman, O Lord of the people, may turn out better than a man. She may be wise and virtuous, a devoted wife, revering her mother-in-law. The son to whom she gives birth may become a hero, O Lord of the land. The son of such a blessed woman may even rule the realm. So that's a slightly different version. Sarah? I have it and you know, I, I translate first in Spanish my, if I translate to English, if someone, it's something like you have read something like that. Okay. Sarah, did you have a version you'd like to read? Oh, yeah, I just had a quick question for the, at the beginning of the iti with the long I and the medivani, silavati, isn't that the plural form of nominative uh, feminine? It's a feminine, right? Uh, short I. I thought that was plural there. You mean iti, p? Yeah, and also the mid medavani silavati with a long I is plural. Really? I don't know. I, I mean that's that's what I my little pathetic notes are telling me, but I'm hoping somebody wiser will jump in and correct <laughs> I'll, me. I would have to look at that more carefully. Unless it's a it's a actually a base long I, you know the because the short, if it's a short I noun, then the nominative singular is short I. But if it's a long I ending, so maybe that's what it is. That's probably because it doesn't really make sense to switch. Well, because you were talking about the, the plural form of women. So I was like, aha, here he's, he's talking about women in general. But it doesn't make sense with the whole verse. So I think I just think it's a feminine long I well, I'm looking here on page 70 of Gare. Okay. Which gives the, at the top of the page 70, okay. it gives us the feminine forms of the vant and mant uh, nouns. And it says, if I, if I have, if I can see this okay without my glasses, the feminine is formed by adding the long I to either the vant or the vat stem. The nominative singular is the sila vanti or sila vati. So that would seem to be in line with meda vini, sila vati. So I think those would be singulars. And so iti, I am, if it is a short i, then maybe I'm not sure why it's elongated here. I don't know. But maybe that partially answers your question. Uh, I guess it was the the English is what threw me because the ekachia. Normally, you wouldn't say some some a woman. It would be some women are better. Yeah, I imagine that the yeah. long a would be because of the feminine matching. Right. Adjectivally. Some women. That's how I would read it. Some women indeed. Any other comments or questions? No? Okay. That was a tough one. Not so simple. 
but beautiful in a way. Okay, so I think we're done. Thank you all for such hard work. We covered a vast amount. We're moving so quickly. And we have only one lesson in the book left to go. And so, and we know that the second part, the further readings of lesson 12 is the, or version of the Dhamma Chaka Pavatana Sutta. So we have lesson 12 further readings next week. I will send out my file of that soon, hopefully. And I don't know how many more classes we have left, two or three or four. Maybe we'll see how fast we can go. Thank you all very much. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thank okay. you. Everybody take care. Thank you. I know. You Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay.